Hi students, an important method in the game theory is graphic method. Now this method is generally asked in the questions in examinations viewpoint. Now you have to apply this method only and only when either player A or player B has two strategies only. If player A has two strategies, player B may have more than two strategies, not an issue. If player B has two strategies, player A may have more than two strategies, three, four, five like that. So why we are going ahead with these two uh, particular strategies only? Because as we know, when we are preparing a graph, it is generally two dimensional. So whenever there are two strategies with one player, you can apply this method. It means whenever you have two into n or m into two size of problems, you can apply the graphic method. So the graphic method is applicable only when you don't have a settle point. Or if you have a settle point, but it has been specifically asked in the exam regarding the graphic method, then you can make use of this method. So always start with finding the settle point. And if there is no settle point, go ahead with the graphic method. If one of the player has two strategies only. Now let us learn the graphic method with the help of one practical question. Now in this question, you can see that A has two strategies and B has many strategies. So we have read that whenever uh, uh, one of any of the two players have two strategies, we can apply the graphic method. So let's start with the graphic method. Before applying the graphic method, of course, we have to check whether maximum is equal to minimax is there or not. So let's check that. Out of this row, we are going to calculate maximum. So from here, we can see this minus 5. It is the minimum element. And here, the minimum element is again minus 5. Column wise, we can calculate the minimax. So minimax, so we have to take the maximum value, column wise maximum. So 8, 5, this is 0, 6 and 8. So out of this, now this has become a column. We will take maximum, because of course, both are maximum. So we can put this and this and this has become a row. Out of this, we will take the minimum now. So out of these all minimum is 0. So here it was minus 5 and here it is 0. So that is not common. So now we can say we can write here is maximum is not equal to minimax. So game does not cannot be solved with the help of pure strategy. So players will be adopting the mixed strategies. Now we will start with the graphic method. So now to apply graphic method just assume that whichever player has two strategies we will give it a name p and 1 minus p. If B would have been two strategies, uh, uh, B would having the two strategies, we will name it Q, 1 minus Q. So A is the maximizing player. For A, we are giving it the name P1, P2. It means A for A, P1 is the probability that player A will be selecting strategy number 1. 1 minus P is the strategy that player A will be selecting strategy number 2. Now these lines you have to write. So we will write let P1 is the probability of player A for selecting strategy number 1. In the same way, 1 minus P1 is the probability of player A for selecting strategy number 2. So we have named these strategies and P and 1 minus P. Now what is the payoff of A if B selects strategy number 1? So now we will start with the payoffs. So you can write in a table or you can write in the lines also. The payoff of player A if B selects. For example, B selects strategy number 1 and we will check the expected payoff. Payoff means return of player A. So if B selects strategy number 1, minus 5 into P1, minus 5 into P1 plus 8 into 1 minus P1. You can name it one P1 or P. So if Player B select strategy number 2, this was first 2, then 5P1 minus 4, 5P1 minus 4, 1 minus P1. Like this you have to write all the alternatives. If B selects strategy number 3, then what is the payoff? 0P1 minus 1, 1 minus P1. 0P1 minus 1, 1 minus P1. Same, if B selects strategy number 4, it would be minus 1 P1 plus 6 1 minus P1. And if B selects strategy number 5, it would have been 8 P1 minus 5 
1 minus P1. So like this you have to write all the payoffs whichever are available. Now the next step is to plot these payoffs on graph. So for that we will require two x's. So you can just prepare the graph like this. And in the middle or we know that what are the negative values we can just here put a line. And maximum we have to go in the positive till 8. You can look at the equation itself. Maximum 8 and in the negative side you have to go till minus 5. Now let's draw the graph. So now we have taken two x's. So we will name this x's as 1 minus p1 and this x's as p1. And in the this is the positive side of graph. This is the negative side of the graph. We know that on the positive side we have to go till 8. So we will number here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. It has to be on the both sides. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. On the negative side, we have to go till minus 5. So minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and minus 5. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and minus 5. Now next we have to plot these points of the graph. Minus 5 on P. This is our P. This was P, this was 1 minus P, minus 5. So this is the minus 5 and 8 on 1 minus P. This is 1 minus P and this is 8. So just join these lines. Second, you can see 5P. So this is our positive 5 and minus 4. This is our minus 4. So join this. Next is on P it is 0. This is the point of 0 and here negative 1. So join these points. Next is minus 1, minus 1 and 6, join these points. Then is 8, positive 8 and minus 5, join these points. Now this is how you will be making the graph. Now what next you have to do? You have to now shade. How will you shade? Now you have to see which player was having two strategies and which player has to choose. In this question, A was having two strategies, B has to choose. And B is the minimizing player. So B has to choose. So you have to see which player has to choose. Here B has to choose because B was having so many strategies. So B is a minimizing player. Whenever the minimizing player is selected, it means you have to shade the below area. On the other hand, if A would have been having many strategies, B would have been having two strategies. So the player who is having more strategy, you have to consider that. In that case, we would have shaded the upper part. Here we will be shading the lower part because B player has more strategies and B is the minimizing player and you have to shade the deepest side of this outermost side this is my outermost side and you have to see the point which is going inside I can see this point I am getting P you can name it anything this corner I am getting Q and this corner I am getting R so P, Q, R and these two points you can name it M and any name you can give it so these are the points that we are getting then you have to see the point which is the going maximum near to the origin, near to zero. So what I feel is this point R is going inside, the maximum inside that is nearest to the origin. And we will name this point as maximum point. Out of minimum, this was the minimum area where have we have gone inside. So now this point, you have to check which two points have cut this, which two points have made this point R. Because two equations have been cutting over here. So which two equations are? So from the graph, I can see the two points that are cutting were minus 5 and 8, 0 and minus 1. Minus 5, 8, 0 and minus 1. These were cutting. That is why this point was made. So for B, strategy 1 and strategy 3. For A, strategy 1 and strategy 2. So now this you have to solve either by either of the methods that we have discussed. Just first try to solve it with the help of uh, maximum minimax that is circle and a square if we can get a settle point. But here in this case it is not possible. So let's solve with the help of odds method. 8 minus minus 1 9 it will be 5 14 1 13 14. So now apply the odds method. Now to calculate the value of game out of this odds, 9 into minus 5 that is 45 plus 8 into 5 that is 40 divided by 9 plus 5 that is 14. So the value of game that comes out to be is 
minus 5 by 40 and you will be showing the strategies also probability that a will select first strategy 9 upon 14 a will select second strategy 5 upon 14 b will select first strategy 1 upon 14 second strategy nil third strategy 13 upon 14 fourth strategy nil fifth strategy nil it means now b has chosen these two strategies and their probabilities are shown by odds method so this is how the graphic method is shown let us just see one more question where a will be having uh, more strategies and b will be having two strategies now here a is the maximizing player having four strategies b is the minimizing player having two strategies so now b is having two strategies we can apply the graphic method First of all, let us check whether row minima column maxima is applicable or not. Row wise minimum minus 7, minus 4, minus 4, minus 6 and column wise maximum it is 7 and here it is 6. Now it's a column. The maximum value out of this is minus 4, minus 4 while here the minimum value is 6. 6 and minus 4 don't match. So here row minima is not equal to column maxima. We have to apply the mixed strategies. Let's start the graphic method. Now, first of all, player B has two strategies. So, we will name it Q1 and 1 minus Q1. You can name it Q1 minus Q. So, you will be writing the line. Let Q is the probability of player B for selecting strategy number 1. We have assumed first strategy as Q. And then let 1 minus Q is the probability of player B for selecting strategy number 2. So now we have named it as Q1, Q and 1 minus Q. Now what is the payoff of B if A selects the first strategy? So if A selects strategy number 1, then what is the payoff of B? So now this will be multiplied minus 7 Q, Q1 into minus 7 plus 6 into 1 minus q. Second will be 7 q1 if second strategy is chosen then 7 q1 minus 4 1 minus q. Third will be minus 4 q1 minus 2 1 minus q and if a selects fourth strategy 8 q1 minus 6 1 minus q1. So these are the payoffs. Now after calculating these payoffs what you have to do you have to just solve this payoff also. In the previous example also, you must solve as much as possible. So this will be minus 7q plus 6 minus 6q. So when you will solve it, minus 13q plus 6. Now here it will be 7q minus 4 plus 4q. So it will be this is 11q minus 4. This will be minus 4q1 minus 2 and plus 2q1. It comes out to be minus 2q1 and minus 2. 8q1 minus 6 plus 6q1. It comes out to be 14q1 and minus 6. So these are the payoffs. So you should solve as much as possible. Now we will plot these points on graph. So now for on so now for graph one line will be for 1 minus q and other line will be for q and you have to put a center over here. So maximum till 8 on the positive side and on the negative side it is minus 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. This was 1 minus q. And same on this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. This was our Q. So on the negative side, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6 and minus 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So first is minus 7 on the Q1. This is Q1 minus 7 and 6 on 1 minus Q. Just join these lines. Then is 7 and minus 4. Join these lines. Then is minus 4 minus 2. This is minus 4 and minus 2. Next is 8 and minus 6. 8 and minus 6. These are the lines. 
Now you have to see which player has more strategies. Of course, player A has more strategies. Player A is the maximizing player. He has to choose. So now you will be shading the upper envelope. This. This is the envelope which is on the uppermost side. So you can name it as upper envelope. When you are shading the below, you can name it as lower envelope. And one more thing we can do is on these lines, we can write the payoffs. Okay, so our first payoff which came was minus 13 Q1 plus 6 if you look at the back calculations. So for from minus 7 to minus 6, this is the first line that we have drawn. The payoff that we got was minus 13 Q plus 6. So like this you can write the payoff of every line which will show that which line is depicting. So you can show on the second 7 and minus 4. So we have taken this 7 and minus 4. This was the second line and the payoff that we got was 11 Q minus 4. Like this you can write this on every line. Now this is the upper envelope. So this is the area. So this will be the area that is minimax. For a maximizing player we are choosing the minimum point. So which point is going deep? This is the point that is going deep. Otherwise we are getting this point also. But this is the point that is that is a corner that is going the deepest one and this will be the minimax point. Now you have to check which two lines were cutting and making this point. So if you will look at here this line and this line the two strategies that are making these two lines are these two A1, A2 for B1, B2 first and second strategy were cutting and making this line. Now we will write these two strategies at one place. So for player B it was same B1, B2 but for player A we have chosen A1 and A2 the values are minus 7, 7, 6 and minus 4. Now this has become a smaller game. We will try if any saddle point is there. No, in this case saddle point is not there. Of course we have to apply the odds method. So when you apply the odds method it will be 11, 13 and on this side 10 and 14 and on both the side total is 24. Now to calculate the value of game, value of game will be minus 7 into 11 plus 7 into 13 divided by 11 plus 13. So it comes out to be 14 by 24 or you can reduce it further that comes out to be 7 by 12. And the probabilities will be A selecting first strategy 11 by 24, A selecting second strategy 13 by 24, B selecting first strategy 10 by 24 be selecting second strategy 14 by 24 and for third and fourth strategy for A that will be nil because A is not selecting third and fourth strategy. So this is how in the game theory graphic method is solved.